So today we're working on a 2015 Maverick. We're going to put a snorkel kit in it. <coughs> Ordered the uh, snorkel kit from CartsWarehouse.com. Probably the best uh, price uh, snorkel kit is the OEM brand. Um, here's one of the inlets or outlets. Uh, it's very hard plastic rubber, very durable. The whole kit is um, it's very nice. Everything's contoured. It's uh, very high quality. It's not your hardware setup. It even, even includes a new piece of the dash. <coughs> it includes all of your hoses to run uh, differential lines, your transmission line up to where you're not going to suck in your water. So, to get started, um, pull the seats out ready, and we're going to have to take out all of the panels, so all the different pop rivets there, there, unscrew the back panel, and all the different corners. This whole back piece has to come off. The seat pan's got to come off. Uh, this panel, and also the dash. So you're going to have to uh, unscrew the dash. My understanding is all the switches and start buttons and everything come out and go into the new dash that's included. So, um, as well under the, uh, the front fender, um, basically this panel right here we're going to take off. There's four bolts and as you can see there's one of the hoses there. So, um, there's some more on the other side that we can take right there. And um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get that all taken off and uh, show you what So we are about eight and a half, about seven and a half hours in. I just want to show you on the snorkel build some of the, some of the items. So back here you're going to see the um, rear diff cable. It actually tucks up in a pipe up here. And you'll see a black hose. That's your transmission hose. So you pull those down. Um, here's the connector right here. You get two of these white clips. They're for both of your differentials, front and rear. So what you're going to do, I ran it through the frame here. Clip it and run it upstairs. And then we just go up here. And there's the cable. It's clipped on up there. But... Nice and high. The one thing about the um, the clear tube, they give you enough clear tube. Um, don't be too generous with the clear tube. Ran mine up to the top, um, and I'll show you some of the other uh, parts. So let's talk about other things that need to be snorkeled for tubing. Uh, there's your transmission tube right here. Goes in. There's a clip on the end. Um, you're going to take the old one off and put on a new one. There's a new uh, black cable. And you're basically just going to run that up and it's going to pop up through the dash here and there it is. So there's all my cables and I'll go through each one by one but that's pretty much as much um, cables you want to give. Don't do too much or you might end up running out of some cable. So <clears throat> gas tank, you don't actually need to um, to extend that. It actually goes in. It create there's a loop, and then a little plastic piece on the end. Uh, it sits up and around here. You can find it. Clear plastic tube with a white end. I think it's like a vapor lock. Um, so what you're going to do is run that. Here it is. Here vapor lock on the end. Um, let's keep looking. So underneath here, the, the water pump, it's way down here. You're going to see a little tiny piece of hose sticking out of there. It's very, very small. You're going to pull that off and you're going to use the differential type tubing. And the same thing, you're going to hook it on and you're going to wind it up to pop out the top. Let's go to the 
front differential. So the front differential is actually on the other side. Uh, but if we look here is the the hose for the radiator hooks in right in there. And there's a couple little clips, plastic clips where it it feeds through. You just kind of um, pull it in tight. Let's go around the other side to the to the other diff. Now diff, uh, you can see or maybe not see up here in the corner. You're gonna see the uh, clear plastic clip. You can see it right there. It's in the uh, in the top right corner right there um but your diff hose let's see it runs down this one's kind of tricky to find and sometimes it's dirty so there's your diff hose let's go around to uh some of the snorkels here so basically you're going to cut a template right here um, there's a template piece of paper. I used a hole saw and drilled a bunch of holes. Makes it really nice, fits through. Uh, but it comes down. You're going to take this tube off and replace it with the piece that comes in the kit. Fits really nice. Um, and then as well, this piece is automatically joined into this unit up top. So it's one piece. Uh, you're basically going to take this piece off and you need to cut it. So um, there's the first two. It shows you in the diagram the first two um, little knobs. There's two little knobs up here. You cut it off just before that. Clamp it. So that's still got to go together. Uh, then there's this piece right in here. So that goes north. And you can see the hose there, and it comes in right under here. Oop, got some goodies in there. So basically that's all going to come apart, and um, the snorkel in the kit is going to go up, and it's actually going to come through the dash here. Um, just a quick note on the templates. So you have to cut a hole in your dash, and that's for the uh, these to go through. So this one will go down in like so. Um, the other one pops in here, and they connect into the big head unit, and we'll actually see that in the next video. Um, but basically, you're going to line them up. There's a little template on the template that shows this bolt, shows that bolt gives you a measurement of three inches back if you do that you're actually gonna cut off too much and you're gonna go too far back here and you're gonna have holes in the front so make sure you line those the template um, hole up with that hole and then the same thing with this you're gonna line the template holes up with that and it fit really nice once you put the other piece in it really snugs it up you've got to put some Loctite in there there's a part number in the kit that doesn't come with it uh, but you put Loctite in, this will go on. This snorkel was pretty easy. Uh, use the same piece here. This tube comes together, so what you're going to do is you're going to actually saw it in half, and there's two little bumps. It'll show you in the, in the plan as well. This rubber part goes on. It's just two zip ties in between. Um, up top there's a piece that fits on there's a piece with some filter cloth in there um, this bracket can be painful getting on I'll show you the picture there so I've got a clamp on the bottom bar I don't really have a clamp on the bottom but it's it's pretty stable it's not going anywhere so that is where we are so far I just wanted to give you a look all the other videos actually show it the pieces on the ground and then everything is together so this gives you an idea of what it looks like going together and some of the challenges with it let's swing over here for a second if we look in the front here's the air box here's the new piece in here so it'll just hook up to your air box 
Then over here on the front of it, see how it loops in. There's the air box. Loops in now where that is. See that fresh black piece? It uh, comes in the kit. One for the Maverick. There's one for the Commander. I mean, it's multifaceted. Now, um, what is there before is the old tube and this box. So this box actually fits up on the bulkhead like so. It fits in that area, but it fits up top. And what I did, as you can see right there, is I just dremeled that top off and the whole box comes off. And then what that does is it, it makes a nice flat surface for that new template to bolt on from the inside. Uh, there's already a hole in it. There's a place where you can put the clamp on. And then we'll go over here. You can actually see up inside the dash. There's um, you got to take the dash out. Yeah, so we're not going to see that extremely well. But... The trick to the dash is this top plastic piece actually comes out. And when it comes out, you got a bolt over here and a bolt over here. And when you take those bolts out, there's three um, kind of prongs in the back that hold it into the firewall. And you just pull the glove to compartment out, take the door down, take this piece out, hit the bolts, you're good. Um, you're going to have to drill a hole in that side panel up top here. And what I did is I just, just took a hole saw, cut it, um, and then with the Dremel kind of um, angled it out a bit. But looks um, really good so far. There's a couple of pieces of pipe. So this is one that you had to cut on the CVT. And again, the manual. Manual is pretty clear. It gives you all the instructions. Tells you where to cut. Um, we still got a few pieces left to go, but I'll show you that in the next video.